I'm at the super pedestrian booth with Asaf Bitterman, founder and CEO of this thing, right? Yes, hello. <laughs> That's awesome. We met like maybe a year and a half ago and I checked out your other model. It was kind of like a prototype. I got to test ride and review uh, the newer version. I'm, I'm really impressed. It's lighter, it's sleeker. You, you've added a cassette option. I've got the wheel sizes. There's, there's a lot to say about this thing, but there's more than just the, the bike stuff on the outside. I mean, it's very complex and I was hoping you could maybe tell me a little bit about that and some of the sure, development. Sure, with pleasure. So, uh, what you tried was sort of our uh, our latest uh, uh, prototype, and for um, and these are these are full production units. Okay. So when we founded the company uh, two years and eight months ago, we basically rebuilt the product from the ground up completely. So hmm. we took the concept that was first invented at MIT. Yeah. By the way, our patents got granted. So this. Congrats. Good. Good. News. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we took license to those patents into the company mm -hmm. and started first of all building what became a robotics company. Mm -hmm. So now we have 30 uh, robotics engineers from the New England area, uh, some of the best engineers in the area, yeah. working on what became quite a complex product to sort of fulfill the vision we had. A wheel that can really uh, uh, multiply your effort eight to 10 times, make you eight to 10 times stronger, be super seamless, have the range we need to cover the average commute, yeah. carry people of, you know, a variety of weights, mm -hmm. right? If you're heavier, we, should, we also want to serve you. So yeah. we really came up with an incredible utility and incredible design. To make that happen, what we needed to do is, first of all, for the ride experience, yeah. we wanted to imitate people's, what they do with their feet in a very yeah. precise way, right? Not just, hey, you step on the pedal and this thing goes. Yeah, on, off, on, yeah. off, none exactly. of that. Yeah. This is this Surging, thing. and I didn't feel any of that when I was testing it. Yeah, it was right. very smooth. Even when you do something very minute with your feet, right? Mm -hmm. It starts to, uh, so basically what we did is we took uh, 12 sensors, power, torque, cadence, acceleration, three direction, uh, and we measure also the slope of the, the road. The slope, yeah, because if you're climbing a hill, it, felt, it still felt like it was giving me consistent power. Yeah. Yeah, and when you go downhill, it regens, right? So, so we crunch all this data up in real time to give you this sort of seamless experience. Mm. And to put it simply, the vision is, let the bike stay a regular bike. Yeah. Just use it like a regular bike. Don't even think about it. The experience should even be that of a regular bike, but you should feel like Superman. Well, and, uh, you know, and the name Super Pedestrian and all that, I, I really like that. Uh, one of the other pieces that's kind of unique is that it's just the, it's the wheel, that's it. And you're kind of set, and then you use your own smartphone, Android or iOS, to operate it. And you were telling me before that uh, you don't necessarily have to have the phone sitting there. Sometimes you just ride, you like pop it in your pocket, and it's you don't, you don't even have yep. to touch your phone. Yeah, yep. again, under that vision of let the bike stay a bike, mm -hmm. and let the technology do the work for you, Yeah. we have a secure connection made between the phone and the wheel. Mm -hmm. And when I use it, I have my phone sitting in my pocket on my favorite mode, it's there. Yeah. Right? When I come to the bike, I use it just like a normal bike, right? I unlock my U-lock, I get on it, and I ride. All the connection, the secure connection is, is established while, while I unlock my bike. You didn't even bike. open your phone, you just, you yeah. just go to the bike the and it senses it. in the it. background. And Bluetooth, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And, and it was very leave, responsive. It, goes to sleep. it was also, yeah, like using it. it yeah, it's, it's very reliable. We've done, we've done... First of all, we put thousands of miles in testing on this. So mm -hmm. at the lab, we have robots that beat against the wheel. <laughs> Sounds right? loud. We have, it, it's, it's in an, you should come and see this. It's in, a, it's in what was a recording studio formerly. Cool, oh, it's so you've got some insulation. That's a requirement, yes. And we are now 20X the requirement by the EU for riding on bumps. Wow. So we have a wheel that basically is beat up against by bumps. Mm. So surviving this, drop tests, we freeze the wheels, we heat the wheels, mm. we rack miles on the wheels. So we've invested now uh, months into a accelerated life testing, reliability testing, uh, salt spray testing, all these things cool. you need to do. Salt to spray? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you look at it and I was like, oh, can you, you know, if it gets dirty, how do you clean it? But it must be fairly water resistant. So salt spray is, is for two things. It's for corrosion, uh -huh. right? which happens especially when you use a mix of, of metals like we do here uh -huh. uh, for optimal performance. So corrosion and also we test for water sealing. Hmm. So think of this as a robot you put on your bike and uh, it just makes you uh, uh, eight to 10 times stronger. It helps you move around through the city in a seamless way. And you were talking about the sleep mode a minute ago and authentication because 
half of the experience is riding the bike, the other half is, is it there when I come back or, you know, how can yeah, So it can't work for anybody else but you. Hmm. So there's a robust, secure connection we make between the phone and the wheel. And unless it's your phone yeah. and your wheel, it's not going to work. And through the app, it sounds like you pull stats and you do remote diagnostics and maybe even updates. Is that part of it or how did it's... First of all, sh definitely updates. Before we get to updates, we constantly monitor the system for health on our servers. Mm -hmm. We measure temperature at multiple points throughout the wheel. We measure current in multiple points throughout the electronics and the electromechanics. Yeah. And if there's anything that seems uh, like it's off the range where it's supposed to be, yeah. we either derate or shut the system down oh. so that we can make sure that safety, rider safety is first. Yeah. Now when you make uh, a tech, call, uh, tech uh, support call, if anything went wrong, yeah. you can log remotely into your wheel and see what's wrong. That would help you out. That's cool. I, earlier, you know, there, we're at the demo booth at Interbike, and there are a few bikes floating around. Someone pulled up the phone, and you could actually see different wheels to connect to. And so it was like, wow, if you had a couple of bikes with these, you could actually use the same phone maybe to switch if yeah. you were authenticated. Yeah. But we also know the temperatures at which wheels were charged, mm. cell health. Like, we go really deep into the system. And then as the product evolves, as we develop new firmware in-house, you can flush it via your phone onto the wheel and your product now updated. Wow. So so this really is a platform that can keep on uh, on developing after you made a purchase. I like that you guys have, you know, I mean, you have kept on developing and improving the product for quite a while now. And I think the biggest excitement is like, I just want to get one. You know, people have been placing pre-orders. You told me that small quantities have actually been shipped of like this unit. Is that so what I was hearing? We're shipping very small quantities and we're ramping up slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, from a pricing perspective, uh, the, pri the retail price is $1,200. Mm -hmm. And we've been, we've been um, uh, selling them on pre-order uh, at a promotion yeah. uh, out of a, sort of an acknowledgement to, uh, to our supporters. Okay. It's really to acknowledge people who are willing to, to wait. There's a big back order uh, um, uh, wait list. Uh, so acknowledging the people who are willing to wait both by uh, uh, putting all this time and effort into building the best uh, uh, product we can build, yeah. but also by giving a bit of a, ba a break in the price. And uh, I mean, to date we put probably $10 million into the engineering of this and into yeah. the manufacturing. Uh, 30 people working around the clock. Uh, so it's, it's, this is a significant effort. Here. Yeah, and so we're, we're getting there. It's neat to be able to try this in person. It's, it's great to know that they're, there's, you're slowly getting there. You're actually sending the products out and you know, I'm, I'm very excited for you know, customers to start getting them and see more of these on the road. So thank, thank you, you so much, much for your time, Asaf. Thank you, and, good uh, to see you. Good luck. <laughs>